First, create a new magazine if you don't have one yet. Just use some test content. Now create a new issue. Make sure you select City Mag as theme. Then just fill in test content as you can always change this later. Once created, click the editor button. Let's call our first page table of contents and select the blank template. Now you're ready to add your content. Let's have a quick look at the interface. From the top left you have general formatting options, test how your content is displayed on different devices, remember to save your changes, click here to exit the Typeloft editor. Here are your toolbars, click to open and close them, click the expand icon to detach them and move them around, you can even resize them. Close it to attach it back in the main menu. Let's create a cover page, click the pages toolbar followed by the plus sign, give it a title and select the blank template and click create page. I'll set the view for tablet devices. Now I've already created my cover in Photoshop, so I'll just upload that. First, I open the media toolbar, then locate my cover and drag it into the media toolbar. Once uploaded, I can drag the cover image onto the blank canvas. Remember to save your work. Now let's finish our table of contents page. I'd like to add a header image, so I drag my header image into the media toolbar. Once uploaded, I drag it onto the canvas. Next, I want to add two columns. Open the widgets toolbar and find the columns widget. Drag it into place and it automatically gives me two columns. To change the number of columns, open the inspector, select the columns in the canvas and change it to three. I'll change it back to two again. Add the paragraph widget to add some text. In the second column, I'll drag some callouts into place. As you can see, both text and callouts are to the very edge of the canvas. In order to add some spacing, we can use the container widget. I'll drag the container widget just below the header image, and then simply drag the columns widget into the container widget. You can change the look and feel of widgets by opening the inspector. Then select your widget you want to change. Make some changes. Don't forget to save your work. Let's create another page and call it main story. Now go back to our table of contents page. Edit a callout title. Then select the link icon and link to the main story page. This callout will now jump to the main story page when tapped on devices. You can click on the link icon again to edit or delete the link. This works for text links too. Select the text you want to hyperlink, click the link icon, copy paste the external link or select the page as a target. Now let's take this a bit further. I'll create a new blank page Add a callout heading first for full width, add a content widget for padding, and drag in my iPad image into the content widget. It's possible to place widgets on top of images, allowing you to use them as backgrounds. Adding a content widget allows me to position other widgets a bit better. Then I drag a heading widget into the content widget, give it a title and change the color. Then drag a paragraph widget and some text and give it a color. I can even drag another image into the content widget which is on top of the iPad image. Now let's fix the text alignment. First I will center the headline, then I select the content widget and add left and right padding to keep the text inside the iPad image. All done! Remember to save your changes. You can test your content and see what it looks like on different devices by choosing a different view. This is a great way to test before you actually publish. Now that we've created a few pages, let's wrap up this issue and prepare it for publishing. Go ahead and exit the editor after you've saved your pages. Now scroll down and click the pack button. Right now Magloft is doing a lot of stuff in the background like preparing your images, creating a book.json and an index.html file that is used by iOS devices to serve the content. In short, it's a lot of technical mumbo jumbo that you don't have to worry about. Refresh the page to see the result. Now your first issue is ready and all you need is your magazine app.